All right, this morning we're going to learn how to write subqueries. We're going to continue our series, I mean, on writing subqueries, so this is part two. In the previous video on writing subqueries, we learned how to write a subquery in the WHERE clause. So we can select star from a table, and then in our WHERE clause, we could select from another table, and we could, in the WHERE clause, say where something is in this query here. Well, so today what we're going to do is we're going to do a subquery in the SELECT as opposed to the WHERE. And so let's look at one of the tables that we've discussed already, actually, which is time gaps. In a previous video, we were using this table to find time gaps in data, which is a, a very useful skill to have. Okay, and there were, I believe, let me just check, but I think there's 100,000 rows here. I always get confused when I see that many zeros in a row. All right, and so we have a price, and if you look at this, these data here, you'll notice that the price changes. And I think I've said this before, but let me just say this again on these videos. There is a delay, so what you're hearing right now is a little bit behind what I'm doing. So if you get confused, you can always pause, but that's something that I, I have noticed a couple of times. Okay, so you can see that the price changes. For instance, there's 832.01, there's 837, 83205, and so on and so forth. These are not the same values. So if we wanted to look at just the average of the price, it would be fairly simple, of course, if it wasn't a VAR car, but it's a VAR car. So when you see that message, all it means is that you have a VAR car and you're trying to convert a VAR car, or I'm sorry, you're trying to um, take the average of something which is a VAR car, and that's a no-no. And so, what I'm doing here is just casting this, this column as a var car column. And just as a case in point, if you uh, want to know how you can get that information, you can always do this when in doubt. Dot columns, and then where table name equals time gaps. And you will see price, and you'll see var car. And so, of course, if you're taking an average, it has to be a numeric field, and so we're casting it, or I'm casting it here as a decimal. Okay, so we have the average um, of those 100,000 values. Let's suppose, though, we wanted to compare, so let's go back to the table and select, except instead of star, we're going to select price from time gaps. So we want to compare the price to the average. Now. There's always multiple ways to solve problems, but in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate a subquery in a select statement used, um, by answering that question that is. Okay, so what we can actually do is we can turn this into, I hate to say the word column, but that's essentially what we're doing. So we have select price from time gaps. We're going to hit comma here and we're going to tack on a column. And then we're going to call our column average price. And you'll note, of course, obviously, since the average is the same, because it's the average over all the values, that as we scroll down, we will see that our price is next to the average of all these prices. So again, using the same logic, we could then compare. Let's suppose we wanted to take the price minus the average. And unfortunately, difference is a key word, so we can't do this. But we can do uh, price AVG diff. This. And now we can look at the difference between these two values. So again, if you look at this, and I'm, I'm using a, a very, very simple example here. Yes, you can get things more complicated. You can have a lot more to it. Um, but if you look at this, you will see that what we have is we have a column that is basically a select statement. It's the same here. And we actually have taken a column from this table, and then we have subtracted it from another select, or the same select statement. but. A select statement. So just like you can have a subquery 
in your where clause, you can have a subquery in your select clause. You can have a query inside of that. And you'll notice it is wrapped around parentheses. And I gave it a uh, column name. But you can actually do this. This is another one of the tools that you have. And again, let me stress that there are multiple ways to solve the problem of you're trying to get the average and compare it to the price. This is just one of the methods that you could use.